Welcome back. Today we're exploring tuples in Python, a versatile way to store a collection of items in a fixed order. Think of tuples as a secure and changeable container where the order of the items matters, but once they're in place, they can't be modified. Let's dive in. Before we get started with tuples, let's quickly revisit the last video about dictionaries. We explored how to store access and modify data using key value pairs, an incredibly efficient way to manage structured data. If you missed that video, be sure to check it out. And as always, the quiz answers from last time are in the description below. Now let's move forward and uncover the magic of tuples. Creating a tuple is as simple as listing items within parentheses. You can store various data types like numbers, strings, or even mixed types in a tuple. For example, you might have a tuple like this. One key aspect of tuples is that they are ordered, meaning the items have a defined sequence that will not change once the tuple is created. Another important characteristic is that tuples are unchangeable or immutable, which means once you've created a tuple, you cannot modify, add, or remove items from it. This makes them ideal for storing fixed data that shouldn't be altered during program execution. Lastly, tuples allow duplicate values, meaning you can have multiple items with the same value. Since tuples are indexed, each value can be accessed by its position, regardless of whether it's duplicated. You have already encountered tuples in Python, if you've worked with dictionaries and their items method. When you call items in a dictionary, it returns a view object that contains a collection of tuples. Each tuple represents a key value pair from the dictionary. For example, if you have a dictionary like this, and if you call contact items for this dictionary, it will return a list of tuples. These tuples allows us to store each pair in a fixed and ordered manner, making it easy to iterate over or manipulate the dictionary data. This use of tuples shows how they're ideal for handling fixed pairs of data efficiently, ensuring the structure and content remain unchanged while being accessed or used in different parts of your code. We'll start by accessing elements in a tuple using indexing, which works just like it does with lists. For example, if you have a tuple, you can retrieve the first element with my tuple 0 which will return 10. Tuples also have a powerful feature called unpacking. This allows you to assign all the values in a tuple to variables in a single step. For instance, each variable we declare holds the corresponding value. Unpacking is especially helpful when working with tuples from the items method of dictionaries, allowing you to easily work with key value pairs by unpacking the tuple directly into two variables. A defining feature of tuples is their immutability, meaning once a tuple is created, its elements cannot be modified. If you try to change an element like this, Python will raise an error. This immutability makes tuples useful when you want to ensure that data remains constant throughout your program. Unlike lists, which can be changed dynamically, tuples offer a level of security and stability by guaranteeing that their contents stay the same. Even though tuples are immutable, they still support useful operations. You can concatenate two tuples using the plus operator, or repeat a tuple with the multiplication operator, for example. Now let's print both of these and see what we get. Tuples also come with built-in methods like count, which returns the number of times a value appears in the tuple, and index which finds the first occurrence of a specified value. These operations and methods provide flexibility when working with tuples, even though their contents remain unchanged. Now let's dive into a practical example that showcases the utility of tuples. Imagine you're working on a shipping application, where you need to store the dimensions of various packages, length, height, height and weight. Since these values are fixed and unchangeable, a tuple is a perfect fit. For example, this tuple stores all the necessary details in a simple compact format. It's lightweight and efficient because we know the order of the values and don't need to modify them later. 
You might be thinking, why can't I use a dictionary for this? Well, you definitely could. A dictionary will allow you to label each value like this. The advantage of a dictionary is that it's more descriptive and you can easily update values if needed. For example, if the weight changes, you can modify the dictionary like this. However, in scenarios where the data is fixed and doesn't need labels, like simple dimensions or coordinates, tuples are a more efficient choice. They're quicker to work with and ideal for immutable data sets. Let's test your knowledge with a quick quiz on tuples. How do you create a tuple in Python? What happens if you try to modify a tuple after it's created? Which of the following methods can you use with a tuple? Think you know the answers? Drop them in the comments. To sum up, tuples are an excellent way to store multiple items in a fixed and changeable order. They provide a secure and efficient way to handle data. Now it's your turn to experiment with tuples in your project. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share your thoughts or questions in the comments. Happy coding and I'll see you in the next dimension.